Good Monday morning, everyone. Today is the 23rd of March. So uh, what time is it? 6.15 right now. So coming in, checking out the futures. And, uh, you know, just a heads up. I just look at the futures in the morning when I get up. I don't bother looking at, at overnight. You know, in my years as an institutional trader, you know, we try to be kind of neutral going into the weekend. And overnight, we reduce our positions. But, um, you know, I guess a lot of people check because they're holding positions that are worthwhile to them. So, you know, they want to look Sunday night. They want to look uh, in the evening after the market closes. They want to look all the time. You know, I'm not saying it's good, it's bad, but it means nothing, people. Unless you're trading the actual futures and you're making money on them, you know, you're trading the minis, great. If you're not, relax, you know. It's brutal enough. You know, watching them go up and down and these price swings, you know, so much volatility. Give yourself a break, you know. I know maybe there's not much to do now. We're all quarantined or whatnot, but, you know, give yourself a break, people. You know, you need some just escape, you know, watch some movies, do something, do some exercising, play with your kids if you got kids, take a walk around the block. I mean, just don't watch this on a Sunday night, you know, and start making predictions. I see, like, in all these groups, and, oh, the futures are tanking. Oh, the market's going to be a bloodbath. Oh, the Dow's going to 15,000. Oh, 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 did you guys pass a Series 7? You guys have any Series 4? You guys have any trading licenses? You guys have anything? You know? Like, I just love how all these people with no licenses make these predictions like they're pros, you know? And I have the licenses. I've had them. I've taken multiple. I had over maybe, um, I want to say like eight licenses already in this game, you know? And, uh, you know, I excelled. I did very well, you know? And I just see, like, people and, you know, I had to even run a poll in some stock group just to see, you know, do you even know what you're talking about, people? You know? People just, uh, they... They watch things, they hear things. The information is usually BS, you know. And just remember, what happened last night, uh, you know, you see the futures, where are we on? These are the Dow minis. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, you know, it kind of, it was messing up a little, you know. It's coming down, you know. And right now we're bouncing back a little bit, you know. Dow's a 567, you know, negative, you know. So we came back a lot, you know. And people just look like, oh my God, the bottom's falling out. 15,000, this and that. And not saying we're not going to go there, okay. Anything is possible. But you got to remember, the stock market is a forward leading indicator, not a lagging forward so that means it's looking ahead always always so all this news with corona and this and that believe me it's all priced in already everybody it is now what we're pricing in is really just these bills that are coming out you know there's a little uncertainty but believe me something's going to get done and it's probably going to get done north of two trillion dollars okay so you have uh democrats you got republicans independents you know and they just mm -mm, battle it out and uh you know hey they didn't like it I mean, there times they don't like things and it doesn't get passed. Many times. So that's all you're seeing here. And that's all this wiggling you got. So remember, Sunday night, relax, you know. I mean, unless you have a vested interest and you've got positions overnight and you got positions over the weekend, you know, hey, it's good. I'm not saying it's a good strategy. It's a bad strategy. But for those who think they're traders, you know, then you don't want to be net positive with all these positions uh, going into a weekend, you know, and overnight, you know, you want to reduce your positions as if you were like a margin trader, you know, maxing it out and you never max out margin. But, you know, you want to go neutral, you know, you want to keep cash, you want to keep ammo. You put all your ammo in right away. That's it. You know, market reverses on you, you're taking a loss, you know, and look at that T-VIX, what happened. And, um, you know, I know these videos are made very early. So, you know, when I make some of these calls, you know, I'm doing it at six, seven o'clock in the morning. I don't really have an insight on a crystal ball what the market's going to do. It's all intuition for me because I've been doing it for so long and I've been pretty good at it. Okay. So, um, you know, that's all. And that's why I could say this and that and this and that, but, you know, I thought maybe you have this, maybe it didn't happen, you know, and we all make mistakes too. It's fine. It's part of being human. So, you know, I just want to go off on that because the T-VIX and the volatility index had an auction go off. Now, I've seen this multiple times when, you know, you had a fund that, you know, thought they were going to make so much money on the VIX. And then what happened, you know, they were caught, you had a movement against it, then the clearing agent had to liquidate the position, they auction it, and now someone else buys it for pennies on it, you know, or just a fraction of the cost. And then what happens? You know, those things took a big beating, and the markets took a beating on uh, Friday. So, um, at the end of the day, what did that do for everybody who thought, oh, we're going to make all this money on a T-VIX and this and the VIX and all these other shorts, you know? 
Odds are, Marker was down and they came down with it. So that was not what it was intended to do. And it happens from time to time. I've seen it multiple times throughout my career. All right. So, uh, you know, here's where we got the futures. It's bouncing, you know. Uh, let's see right here, you know. So it's breaking out now. You know, it broke out to a newer high right there. You know, coming back in, you know, I think it goes up more. You know, you're going to get some chaos. You know, you're not going to get no breakers off in the morning. You're not going to see that. Today, I'm not thinking we're going to see circuit breakers. I don't believe it. But we could, you know, so don't hold me to it. But I don't think today's going to be a circuit breaker day. You know, I know people are claiming the bottom, the bottom. You know, here, what's these, the S&Ps, you know, boom. Boom, 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 boom. You know, like I say, unless you're trading them, you're trading minis, great. Then you love this move, and then you love this move, then you love these moves, you know, you're making money, you have the volatility. But if you're not, not trading minis, don't watch them. You're just wasting your time and causing aggravation for something that may not happen by the time it's six, seven, eight, nine in the morning. Then the future, then the market opens up 9.30, and then you were all wrong, and you wasted time and energy for what? Nothing. So, just stay away from that, people, okay? Uh, so now let's get on to uh, Market Watch. You know, and remember, Yahoo, all this is great, free. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to do anything. That's why I show it here. I use other services when I'm doing my trading and everything else, but, you know, and other information. But, you know, it's great for people, you know. You aren't, they're not asking you to put an email, or this or that. You know, you could, but um, not necessary. So here you got gold, you know, and I see people looking at gold um, ETFs, doubles, triples. And, you know, hey, you'll make a little money, but gold's not the move. And silver, you know, not to move. You know, are they tradable? Yes. Will you make some money? Yes. You know, I think your money, you want more volatility, you're better off in oil. You know, you find one of those, you find it at the right time, price and time, everything. You know, you could catch it on the short side, you could catch it on the long side. You're getting more percentage returns on your oil, not your gold, not your silver. So, you know, to each their own, that's all. So, uh, futures are right here. So, you know, looking at this chart, looks like it's going higher. Look at this one, going up. Look at this one going up for all the people that were looking like a bloodbath, you know, not such a bloodbath in my eyes. Now, uh, of course, this is the first time I'm even looking right now. Let's look at Europe, how they doing. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, they're selling off across the board. Yeah, so that's their moves. Let's look at Asia, what they're doing. Yes, yeah, selling off. You know, seeing a 3-4% move, you know, it's not really a big, <laughs> like, a lot of deal anymore. You know, when you see the 7s, the 13s, you know, that's more troublesome. But, you know, 3%, 4% moves, that seems average now. You know, and if it's less than that, you know, it's like, whew, <laughs> not a bad day. So, uh, you know, that's where we stand uh, here. Just do a little Forex. Do a little Rates. Well, we just did the futures. Let's do some crypto. Crypto, I did check that. I know it was down on Bitcoin. So there we got those. Mm, Litecoin getting a little bid. Monero catching a little bid. Eh, good for those, but nothing great. Just want to see oil a second. Because this is what you're going to want to trade more if you're looking at the ETFs. Personally, if me, if I was doing something, you know, I like moves in oil. <laughs> you know, gold moving, you know, not even 1%, 2%. What are you making? You know, you're not making anything. And the ETFs go up a little bit. They go up a little bit. They don't go up a lot. You know, so it's not really a good trade for you. And if it is, it is. You know, you find value, great. I just don't. All right, so let's just move along. Here's our earnings on a day. Ooh, two. So uh, we're getting almost done. Let's see. Oh, now they have a few more. I don't know why they put lists more when there's only like seven of them, you know. So, uh, here's what we got. Raven Industries. I was mining a bunch of Raven coin. You know, people have high hopes for that. Raven coin, Raven industry. Like Beam Therapeutics, then you got Beam coin. <laughs> so, uh, let's move along. Oh, wait. We gotta go aftermarket. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. Just getting ahead of myself, so... Here's everything for after the close. Oh, so I guess I did that already. Okay. Ugh, a little early in the morning, you know. So, uh, all right, here's Corona. This is, uh, you know, really what 
hit the markets. You know, here it is. So we're at 341,722 to be exact. Total deaths right here, 14,000. Total recovered, no cure. People recover people right here. Look at that, you know, and right here you could see how many recovered where, you know, so it's all over here, you know, just understand what you're looking at. You know, and the link I do put in here so you don't get scammed and get uh, hijacked and ransomware and all this crap. You know, don't put it in Google or anything because you may find one that is ransomware and uh, you'd be in a whole lot of trouble. And then guess what? They want Bitcoin to release your data back to you. So, you know, always back up your stuff and be careful of what you download, all right? So here's, um, you know, China, of course, leading the way where it all started. Italy got hit really hard, you know. They were the hardest hit outside of China which is tragic, you know, they had a lot of deaths. And then U.S., you know, we're not far behind them, but, you know, we are behind them, so that's good. But number three, you know, but we have a big population, so of course, you know, we're going to have a lot. And then uh, New Yorkers and California and other, you know, we're just used to our ways. We like to go out, we like to do things, just like everybody else. But, you know, I guess it's hard to tell the people what to do. New York, they're going to be putting, uh, I'm in New York. So I guess they're going to bring the National Guard now, I see. You know, they have them, I think, in certain places. So it's like people were playing basketball over the weekend, you know. I understand, you know. People like to do it. It's what we do, you know. We go to the parks, we go here, we go there, and they don't like it, you know. I like going to the gym. I haven't been able to go to the gym. Luckily, I have a home gym that I created. But, you know, it's not the same. I like going out. I like seeing people, you know. It just gets you in a better mood, so... Here we go, people. You know, hopefully we're over this soon. They say April 7th. I'm hoping, you know, let's get back to normal, right? All right, so here's uh, our cryptos. You know, so Binance is at 11. That looks pretty good there, you know. Uh, it's better than uh, Bitcoin, actually, if you're looking. You know, I don't need to look at a chart, but I know price action. So I know looking at that 11 and that at under 10, it's a good buy there on Binance. Uh, Bitcoin, mm, down 7. They, you know, I mean, they are down, but, you know, I'm looking at the prices where they are for where they would be. Um, yeah, let's look at Link. Chainlink, $2. That's good. All right, moving along. So now we're using coin market cap, which many of the crypto people do know. You know, just very basic. Just, boom, get your 24-hour move and your price, and that's it. So, you know, just looking. Yeah, just... Red, 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 red. So here's your risk trades, you know, so people aren't putting money in right now. More of uh, sellers, so everyone who's saying Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin's going up, you know, well, Bitcoin and everything is going down right now, you know, so here's everything you're looking at. Doesn't look too good, you know, if, you know, but you want a dollar cost average if you're in higher. You know, these are prices, but, you know, I would wait a little bit. You know, but if you're trading, then you're trading it now. You're not waiting, you know, so you go long, you go short. You know, it just depends. You could go on uh, Jacks of Binance and others. So here's Grin, 42 cents, up down 11. Beam is going to be under, of course, nowadays. So 24 cents, down 11. So, you know, that's usually where I stop. And, uh, you know, I mine. I have, like, oof. I probably got like a whole mutual fund I could start with all the coins I mine. Low key, I got. I got so many coins that, you know, I've heard. I got tons that some I don't even remember I have anymore. You know, but I just lock them away. You know, they'll be sold one day. Metaverse, you know, I got so many in here. Don't even remember. So, you know, just pulling up the chart now. So the Dow, you know, now we're at the levels. We had the worst month since like 1931. The worst month since 1931 for the markets. So, you know, hey, everyone's getting a taste of what it felt like back then, <laughs> you know, so it just prepares you, makes you better traders, you know, people were getting a little complacent for the past, uh, you know, couple of years, the market's just been going higher, 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 you know, no one experienced this, you know, I experienced multiple bear markets, you know, I remember the 2000, you know, the whole thing, people said, why 2K, ah, oh, you know, nothing happened, but then, you know, we did get the dot-com crash, you know, I was ready, Sun Microsystems, Juniper Networks, there was so many, they were just going and going, and people thought, you know, and I bought Amazon back then, so cheap, and I still have my Amazon from then, stock used to split, split, and I got free shares of the Amazon, it was beautiful, and I still have it, I just hold it, beautiful, I love it, you know, but now stocks aren't splitting, they don't want, you know, traders coming in, small people, 
manipulating the stock. So everyone's taking like the Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett model, seeing how high their stocks could go, and you know, real people with real money could uh, play it. You know, maybe they stop breaking down shares like Bitcoin, where you could buy fractions of stocks. I think they do have that out somewhere. Some places I never really look because I don't care by the full thing but it is helpful for people who want to buy fractions so that could be coming in the future so you know just something to think about I guess for people who want to buy big stocks and maybe a fraction down the road and maybe now so 11 28 16 it's where the market stands right now you know will be a little lower probably at the open not anticipating much so you know don't get too bearish today people so, uh, all right, CNBC, all right, let's look, let's see. Everyone loves, I see the TVIX, you know, uh, it's not up here right now. So let's take a look at Tesla first. So there we got it, people. Tesla, a lot of people like, along with SpaceX, uh, Space, I mean, uh, SpaceX is his, but Virgin Galactic, you know, which is space. So uh, there's your Tesla. People want REITs. Here's a good REIT, IIPR. I believe that one I gave uh, last week. Had a solid day on Friday. So now that yield is going down. You know, it still remains at four, but you know, it's a good one. People want marijuana. People want to guess what they are. This is what you probably want more so if you want to be a little conservative. 15% is not too conservative. <laughs> Here's Square. Love Square. Great, you know. Jack Dorsey does uh, have uh, so many things on his mind, I guess, between Twitter, this, and other things, you know. But um, it's good. I like Square. I like the payments. I like how they do the charge. I like how they're doing the Bitcoin. I like the Cash App. You know, everything seems solid. So these are things that are just on sale. Then brings me to his other company, Twitter, which a lot of people go on crypto, Twitter, stocks on Twitter, you know. But uh, there you go for Twitter. Dollar Tree. This one's doing good, you know. Like I say, the economy is not really too bad, you know. Unemployment, that's where it's going. But you know, people, you know, should have some money for a rainy day. There's loans that are available too if people need personal loans with very low interest rates nowadays. So, you know, people could get access to some funding short term if they need, and then pay back that loan a little bit over time. So, you know, just like the governments take loans, people take loans, people take loans to buy a property, you know. If you have some things that you got to come up with, you know, you take a small personal loan and, you know, you could be good, you know. Get you through a few months, you know, and everyone's going back to work, you know. Once this thing goes back, you know, servers, everybody, you know, they're going back to work. You know, unemployment could be higher, then it's going <clears> to <throat> get slammed right down. And then what, market's going to rally 5,000 points, you know, so... Remember, it's a leading indicator, so, you know, don't get too bearish, people. You know, most of the bearishness is behind us. Planet Fitness pulling ahead a little bit. Look at that. There you go. No video. I sold this on Friday. I ended up holding against my judgment. I was going to do a day trade overnight. Then I ended up holding it for two, and, you know, I'll be getting back into this most likely today again. I could get under two, you know, I like to get right back in there, so see what happens, and I like to buy a nice block of it, so uh, I'll be getting that most likely, here's AMD, goes hand in hand, you know, they're both doing the same things pretty much, you know, they have slight differences, but AMD is good, you know, cheaper priced, for people who are into pricing, he has Lake. This was another new one I gave. They make the uh, suits and all the hazmat stuff and protective clothing. So, you know, it was down 5%, but, you know, it could do well, you know. So, uh, you know, just watch everything. Go. This was another one last week. And that's the grocer. They had, uh, like, two... Yeah, so it's up. So they had uh, 31 stores in uh, 2019 last year. You know, groceries. You know, you see is toilet paper out, meat out. You know, they're not taking Beyond Meat products. You notice that? <laughs> people kind of leave that stuff, but you know, people want the real stuff right now. And I see sometimes people leave that stuff, but um, you know, good one. 
Ah, okay, so now we're back to here. Okay, so we went through most of these that we uh, talked. So now let's go on to the T-Vix. This is what everybody wants. And you guys probably already know where it is by now, you know. What I do here? Oh, uh, my bad. <laughs> oh, jeez. Early morning for me. All right, there we go, the T-Vix. <laughs> there, so, um, you know, we got a little bounce, you know. And look, see, that was uh, Friday. So markets came down, and if you were buying this thinking you were going to make money, huh, you were down 6%, you know, so not good. Now let's go into the VIX. I'm just used to, like, the VIX. <laughs> so when I see that T-Vix... This morning I was thinking more VIX. So uh, there you go. Because this is the one that had to be auctioned off on Friday, which caused pain. And this is like a single. You know, the other is a double. So that's why you get different price movements. So it mirrors this, but on a double. This way, just so you know why one goes up three and the other one's double that. So that's really it. That's why I say, you know, if you're not too crazy on movements, you know, this may be a better one for you to control, you know, over the T-VIX. So um, there you go. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. It's about 6.36. So, um, we got the futures, minus 4.61. You know, I think the markets, I think we could go up today, people. You know, I don't think we're going to be uh, down. I could be wrong, but I think today's going to be a better day. You know, you're going to have the bears, the bulls, battle, little seesaw trading, give, take, give, take. But I think the bulls may come out ahead this morning. Well, the, on this day, okay? So just remember, all these things are before 7 a.m. So let's see where we go. Happy trading, everybody. If you like the video, subscribe. Tell your friends about it. I appreciate it. want to grow it. We've been growing very good. And I'm here for you. You got my email address. If you have any questions you want to mention, it's uh, tcli20 at protonmail.com. You could hit, I guess, about, and you'll see some information, and the email will be there. So uh, have a great day. Hope it's uh, warm, where people could get out, get some fresh air, and uh, have a profitable one, everyone. Take care.